Hi, I'm here today with Ben Green from uh, Data Center and Co-Location Provider CoreSight. We've recently completed a white paper uh, project on the topic um, specifically of, of edge infrastructure and how that relates to 5G. And today what we wanted to do is dig a little bit more into some of the key themes and topics that came uh, from that project. And I've got Ben to help me out with that. Hi, Ben. Uh, welcome. All right. Thanks for having me. Sure. Looking forward to the discussion. So let's just start... Uh, you know, right with definitions, um, you know, you can argue um, definitions are kind of an academic discussion, but but in reality, for a new market segment like Edge, a way a company like CoreSight defines the market determines really everything strategically that flows from that. And I suppose same for the customers. So um, from CoreSight's perspective, I guess, one, how do you how do you define the edge? And then two, um, how does CoreSight fit into that broader edge discussion? Well, you're absolutely right. Edge is a great buzzword and can mean different things to different people. But I think if you really boil it down to a simple explanation, you know, edge means allowing your users to have a local experience at their location, wherever that location may be, right? Essentially, the user's request for service, whether it's an application or their gaming or it's video, that this user will be served from a local source eliminating any lag time or buffering, um, latency, you know, the kind of problems of the internet that we became used to with the network designs of the last few decades. So today's applications, future applications, they just can't work with a legacy centralized network design. So Edge for me really is about user experience and application performance. And the name of the game today is performance. Having a hub and spoke network design where users on the East Coast have to ping to uh, a data center on the West Coast and then come back with a signal, well, that's just going to cause problems for you and for your users, right? So I think we believe that CoreSight is really well set up to deliver an edge user experience. Given our locations that are spread across the country, by leveraging CoreSight and deploying your infrastructure at our locations across the country, you could serve your users within a few milliseconds. So, you know, whether you have users in Boston and Miami and the West Coast and the Bay Area, they're all going to have the same local feeling experience when you deploy at our sites in each of those markets. Right. So certainly latency. And as we put in the paper, latency and distance are really two sides of the, the same coin. Uh, each determines the other. And those are really key parts of what, it, what, what becomes an edge, it determinants of what becomes an edge location. Um, the paper focused on 5G edge, which, you know, edge is new. 5G edge, I would say, is, is even newer. Uh, certainly 5G is very tightly coupled uh, with edge today. How does a, a colo provider, a company like CoreSight, fit into the, um, this emerging opportunity for 5G edge? Well, 5G really is just a last mile access methodology. In fact, it's probably not even last mile. It's much shorter than the mile, given the distance limitations on 5G. But effectively, 5G is going to really test your company's edge plan. You know, I, as a user on my phone, I might have a lightning fast 5G connection from my phone to the nearest cell tower. But at that point, it jumps onto a fiber network and goes to the closest network interconnection point. But if my signal then has to travel across the country, as I said before, from the East Coast to the West Coast, I got to ping the legacy uh, you know, on-prem data center and then come back to my lightning fast connection. Well, the whole promise of 5G is lost at that point. So you need to have a co-location provider positioned to deliver on that promise of 5G. So that the content and the applications are much closer to that user. Uh, optimizing that experience. And, you know, I, I should say that not all data centers are created equally, though. You should definitely look for a data center that has a rich network interconnection base. The more fiber carriers in the building, the better, frankly, um, as it's going to improve your edge experience through network reach and really delivering to as many users who may be on different networks in the area. Uh, yeah, one point I should make from from the uh, white paper and, and the survey data that was included in there, uh, there really is a tremendous support 
uh, among the customer base for a network dense co-location. One of the data points was that uh, 81% of um, those surveyed, which included service providers and enterprise, said that network dense colo was at least important and 17% critical. So a lot of interest. Um, You're obviously been talking to a lot of customers and you've got different customer sets. You have enterprise, um, you you have network operators, you have cloud providers themselves. What, uh, very curious, what kind of conversations you're having and, and what, as they come to you, what are they asking for specifically around 5G Edge? Yeah, well, you're right. We've touched on the interconnection piece and how important that is. But I think another key element to Edge that we talk to clients about all the time is a hybrid cloud and a multi-cloud approach. And really enabling enterprises with the ability to connect into the cloud of their choice to leverage different applications or solutions is just critical to the success of the 5G Edge. You know, I mean, if you think about it, even if someone says, I'm going 100% cloud, they still need to be thinking about how they'll effectively access their cloud provider, but still integrate with all the networks that they need and all of their business partners, all of their ancillary applications and other clouds. That's what hybrid cloud is about. So I think people should really consider how they're going to effectively navigate between their cloud providers, um, their applications, and their edge users. And they should really do that leveraging a multi-tenant data center, especially one that has cloud connectivity offerings. Like CoreSight, we have our open cloud exchange, which basically provides real-time turn up and turn down connections to cloud service providers. So you can essentially take space within a CoreSight data center and then directly connect to the cloud or multiple clouds of your choice. And this is gonna be the quickest, most secure, most reliable, lowest latency way to connect to the cloud service providers that you need while maintaining your ability to connect to everyone else that you need to interface with that makes up your ecosystem to make that 5G edge solution run. Given, uh, you know, I said there's multiple customer sets that that you talk to, just curious, uh, among those customer types, is there one set in particular that, you know, the, the Colo value proposition resonates more strongly, or are you seeing interest in this type of, um, you know, uh, network deployment across the entire you know, ecosystem? We see it across the whole ecosystem. Uh, we have gaming companies across our, our data centers that latency obviously is critical to them. You can't be gaming and then have someone sneak up behind you while you, you weren't ready because your signal was poor, your latency was bad. Uh, we have video distribution content, uh, but even enterprise and enterprise applications. If I'm a bank user using an app and my app is always performing poorly, uh, but my roommate or my neighbor tells me how amazing their bank application works, well, maybe I'm gonna think about switching uh, so I get the optimal performance that I'm looking for in today's mobile world. So it really affects all aspects of our lives across every industry and enterprise. All right. And then um, to wrap up, kind of the $100 million question, uh, but you know, what, what do you see? What's next for 5G Edge uh, 2021? And then if you want to be bold, beyond. Sure. Well, I don't have a crystal ball, uh, but I will tell you 5G is going to provide a breakthrough moment for many content companies, gaming companies, but also for the smart city, which we haven't mentioned much about. Um, we're talking about applications that are only three or four years of work, excuse me, only three or four years away that we haven't even considered today. And, you know, the, the pace of change is so fast right now that there's going to be this amazing application that couldn't have existed without a 5G edge infrastructure in place. And so when you think about the future, you don't have to have a crystal ball as to what is coming next. You just have to be prepared to enable what's coming next. And I think at CoreSight, we're in a great spot to support that. We already have the interconnection or the network to network communication that happens within our buildings. You know, we operate highly interconnected buildings in downtown metros across the US. And in some cases, we have hundreds of fiber optic network providers interfacing with one another and exchanging traffic. But these these network meet points are just critical to a 5G application um, or to a smart city. Uh, So you can access all the providers you need in one place, 
but also connecting to the preferred cloud service provider, having the AWS, Azure, Google, et cetera, having those providers on net to the building as well creates a future-proof situation. So I think key things when you're thinking about choosing a co-location provider and trying to future-proof your choice, number one, location, you have to minimize latency to your user. Number two, density of network interconnection, the more the better. You're going to have a better performance to more users with more network options. And then finally, integration to clouds. You have to have a platform that allows you to interface rapidly at high throughput at lowest latency. And it just so happens those are the ingredients of a core site data center. So we're in a good spot, I think, looking to the future, whatever the future may bring. Yeah, good, good point. Um, you know, the key takeaway from me then is as a customer and customer service provider enterprise, you won't know exactly what that killer application is going to be for, for 5G, but you can take the steps to prepare so that you can, you know, very nimbly move uh, to, you know, incorporate that application when, when the time comes. So it's, it's sort of preparing as best you can uh, to, to take advantage of, of whatever comes, which, you know, really as an analyst and as anybody, we don't know exactly what that's going to be, but but you can still take those steps. So that's great stuff. Uh, we are out of time, but uh, thanks, Ben. I really appreciate your insights. Um, it's early days and uh, certainly look forward to following CoreSight's progress over the next couple of years. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks.